The new parallax scrolling feature allows you to create stunning effects with just a few mouse clicks to make page images and elements move in different directions and at different speeds when visitors scroll through your site. Let's take a look at how to do this in Adobe Muse. I have a web page open in the browser. This page was actually created in Muse. The first thing you notice is we kind of see a nice, large, uh, almost full screen slideshow that's playing. Now that has, in Muse was pinned to the top of the site so that content will actually scroll over it. So we then scroll down the page so that we see uh, the existing content. But the parallax scrolling kicks in when you see that leaf coming down on the left-hand side. So as I scroll back up, the leaf goes away, scroll down, the leaf comes into play. If we keep scrolling, we'll see another leaf on the right-hand side, and that leaf is going in a different direction. That one's going up. And then we see the last leaf on the left-hand side coming down. Now, in each case with each one of these leaves, it was set up with parallax scrolling in Adobe Muse. So let's head over to the Muse site uh, in Muse that we built, and let's take a look at how this is set up. So again, we see the nice full screen slideshow. If we scroll down in Muse, we will see uh, the ability to have the content uh, scroll and keep going. And then there's our first leaf. Now, since we're scrolling in Muse, it obviously doesn't move. Uh, that feature doesn't kick in until you're either previewing or showing it in the browser. However, if we then go down to this last leaf, this is the one I want to set up from scratch. Now, of course, this one already has the effect turned on. And I can tell because when you click on an object that has parallax scrolling on, not only will you see the frame, but you'll also see a guide coming up from the top of it. And that guide is setting uh, the keyframe of where the parallax scrolling begins or ends, or where it begins uh, to scroll you know, in one direction or starts to scroll off page in that whatever direction you choose, left, right, up, or down. So I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down to this one and let's simply delete it. Now that I've deleted it, I've got another leaf on the left-hand side here, just sitting, waiting for me to use. I'm just gonna go ahead and pull it on the page, and that way we can set this up from scratch. Now that I've got that leaf in place, let's go ahead and find our parallax scrolling. It's actually under the effects. So when we choose effects, uh, we've had the same effects in the previous builds, like uh, shadow, bevel, and glow, but now we've added a new one, which is the parallax scrolling. Now scroll motion for this object is turned off. That means when I scroll in a browser, it will just stay in place. We're gonna go ahead and turn on scroll motion. Now at this point, it remembered the settings from the last time this was used or this uh, leaf was used in a different location. And now I can go ahead and set uh, where I want things to happen. So the first thing is key position. And again, that's where I want the scrolling to take place. I actually want the scrolling to take place from right near this eco-adventure log, or right near the word log. However, I don't necessarily know the exact pixel location of that. And while parallax scrolling does allow me to enter that information, it's just easier for me to set it visually. So I'm not gonna worry about key position just yet. I'll set that visually, but let's go ahead and uh, move down to motion before the key, meaning what happens be right before you get to the word log, and then motion after the key when you've scrolled past it. So you can set up, down, left, and right for each one of these. And if you don't unlock it, it will set whichever ones you do for one for the other. So I'm gonna unlock it so I can set them differently. So I do want it to scroll down. And then the next choice is what speed. And then uh, as far as scrolling to the right, I actually don't want it to scroll to the right initially. So we'll just say zero. Then after the key, I do want it to scroll down, again, at a speed of two. And then I do want it to scroll off to the right at a speed of one. So it'll be very slight as it scrolls off to the right. Now the only thing I need to do is get the key position right. So let's go ahead and click out of this. And we'll just manually move the key position right exactly where we want it to be. So right at the middle of the word log. So now if we preview this, we can preview it right in Muse using the built-in WebKit engine, or we can have it build the HTML right on the fly and uh, preview it in our favorite browser. So when I say preview page in browser, 
Once again, it's built to built that page for me. It's showing it in this case in uh, Google Chrome. I can scroll down, see the content start to scroll up. There's the first leaf that was already set, second leaf that was already set, and then my new leaf as I get to the middle of the screen where the word log is, starts to come down, and then as I go further away, it starts to gradually scroll off to the right. You can kind of see it going off to the right, right there. Parallax scrolling is just that easy to create in Adobe Muse. Adobe Muse continues to embrace the latest modern web trends and standards with every update. The new parallax scrolling feature is a sophisticated effect that is sure to engage site visitors and is possible for you to apply without writing any code in Adobe Muse. Adobe Muse is available as part of your Adobe Creative Cloud membership. Uh -oh.